In today's special holiday edition of Tammy Anderson Art, I want to go ahead and lose my mind. Why don't you watch me blast some paint? That's right. Today we are blasting paint because I am cuckoo and it is the holidays. Maybe I'm cuckoo from the holidays where we're going to take this fancy little contraption and create a stunning piece of art. Let's get started. Hello, my friend. Welcome back to another video. The most important thing I need to say in today's entire video is happy holidays to you. I hope you enjoy this holiday season with your family and friends. And if you're a believer that Santa brings you everything that you asked for. If you're my viewer, I know you've been a good 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 person all year long so hopefully you get everything you wanted so because I know everybody's time is very valuable today I didn't want to take up too much of that time I've already gone ahead and flooded my canvas with some white acrylic paint that I had thinned down with some water and some American Floetrol the exact ratios were one part paint to three parts Floetrol and a little bit of water to thin it down. I will show you that consistency and explain my wacky idea for today. So here's the consistency. It's pretty runny. I would say it's about a Dutch pour consistency. So about a number four, four and a half on the consistency chart. If you don't know what that is, make sure you watch that video, especially if you're a new pour artist, it will help you tremendously with figuring out how thick your paint needs to be to do acrylic pouring techniques, all of them, okay? That video is in the description of this video. There's a link for it. The other colors I'm using today are a mix of brands, but they're all medium body tube paints, okay? Like Amsterdam, Liquitex, Arteza, brands like that that come in the tube. They are mixed exactly the same way as this paint on the canvas. And because it is the holiday season, I'm gonna just do something fun with you today. I'm gonna let my inhibition go. I'm just gonna go with the flow and I'm just gonna see what the paint gives me. It may give me a, oh God, it may give me a mess, but we don't know unless we try, right? I find a lot of times when you do um, when you just like throw some paint on a canvas and just let yourself have some fun, you end up with the most beautiful painting ever. So that's what we're going to do today. All right. So I'm going to be using a combination of things, but the one thing I got to try because I'm a big kid at heart is this thing that I found at Michael's and I'm sure it's going to be a total failure, a total waste of my $7, but I'm... I'm a glutton for punishment. I had to buy it. So this is it. It's called a paint blaster. So my idea is I'm going to put, layer my colors in a cup. I'm going to suck them up with this. Okay. And then I'm going to squirt it along the edges just to see what it does. I bought it. I want to try it. And we're going to use a lot of fun things to tweak it afterwards because I know it's going to be a mess. So enough blabbing. Let's get started. So I'm going to start off with just layering the paint in the cup. I don't know why I'm doing this. I just, I'm such a glutton for punishment. I just know this thing is going to fail, but you know, you got to try. So I have a various uh, amount, a different amount nope a bunch of different greens <laughs> that I've put together first here and I'm just going to layer them in the cup one on top of the other as you see here and I'm going to separate them with a little bit of um I have some interference paints mixed up so I have a uh red a, a 
blue, a green, a pearl white, a gold. So I'm just going to put a few of those in. That's actual real white that I just put in. So I just continued to add layers of green separated by either the interference colors or the white. There's no right or wrong way when it comes to layering. I just make sure I put some white in between here and there and some of the interference in between here and there. Okay, that look at how fest festive I am. I have a tablecloth for you and everything. <laughs> Even painted my nails for the holiday, <laughs> even though they're chipped. Okay, so there's our cup. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this doodad, <laughs> this gadget, in the cup and suck up the paint. Because I think that's how you do it. You just stick it down in there. And then I think... You pull up on this thing. Oh yeah, that did it. So here, I'm gonna rest it there for one second. And you can see it dripping. So you ready for this? <laughs> All right. Here we go. Oh my God, it went right off the canvas. What kind of malarkey is this? <laughs> oh, let's suck it up again. Sorry, I'm off camera a little bit. I'm just sucking it up. <laughs> oh, the things I do. Here, let's start back here. <laughs> I'm getting a beautiful ribbon going though <laughs> you know <laughs> uh, let me give you a close up a mess but we're gonna make something out of this i promise look at this pretty area here <laughs> oh god <laughs> all right let me do a little more spray here listen sometimes we need this right i'm gonna do a little poop right there and A little poop. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it almost just flew off the table. I better stop. I better stop. I have one more area I want to do over here. <laughs> oh oh, the things that entertain me. All right, let's see here. I'm afraid to push it hard. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> goodness gracious. Great balls of fire. Wow. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm done. <laughs> I got a little bit left in here. Let's just uh, do this. <laughs> And a little bit right here. Because why not? Why not? <laughs> All right. So now I'm going to take a marble and I'm going to roll it. No. No, no, no. First, I wanted to blow it. So we're going to do that first. All right. Let's give it a good blowing.
goodness. This is so pretty. Like, I don't even want to touch it now. I did not expect that. Like, just the, the pattern, like the way it's flowing around the frame like that. I really, really like this a lot. There's one area I'm not happy with. However, this, this area right here, I'm not happy with this. But this area right here, I love so much that I'm afraid... I mean, I could try to blow it back a little bit and maybe extend this petal here outwards. But man, I love this area too, so I don't want to disrupt it. So maybe I'll just leave it alone and with a, uh, a skewer, maybe try to do a little bit of a maneuver with it. But this is so, so pretty, this green. I'm just going to, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. Why do I feel like I hear people screaming, leave it alone? <laughs> oh, what do I do? What do I do? You know what? I'm going to leave it alone just because there are so many beautiful areas. I really don't want to mess it up. It looks just like beautiful green leafery. Even though I meant to, you know, play around and have a Christmas theme. I mean, it is all green, <laughs> green and gold, but I just love it. And there's so many things that I'm seeing here, like the lacing and the cells are just gorgeous. So uh, this area right here is stunning. Stunning. I cannot wait to put resin on this. Cannot wait. So I got you in the dark here because I want to see if we can see any of those interference colors if they showed up. So what we're looking for is either some blue or uh, violet color. The gold is, you know, the 24 karat gold, but I did use also a um, a gold interference. So that could be it going through the this area here, but I'm not seeing much of the other colors. This is definitely interference gold all through here. This will be stunning under resin. I'll make sure after I come back from the holidays to show you it with resin on it. But anyway, I want to thank you guys for sticking by me this entire year. Oh, look it. Before I give my goodbye speech, there's some interference violet going through there. You can see in here, it looks a little pinkish. So, so, so pretty. No, I don't see much of the other colors. So as I was saying, I want to thank you so very much for spending your time with me this past year. It has been a tremendous year of growth for me, and I hope that next year continues to be the same. I'm trying to introduce new things into my channel, such as the soap I'm told you if you haven't heard this before I'm going to release a tutorial on how to do that because that's another form of fluid art I am going to bring in the mixed media and the resin art all of that like I did last this year and I just want to thank you so very much for your love and support to those that sent Christmas donations I'm going to put them up on the screen right now I thank you so very much for doing that and I just, I love you all. I am so, so grateful for all of you. Just for you t clicking on that video and watching me, I am eternally grateful. And I hope you know that. So I want to thank you for joining me. Don't forget to click the thumbs up on the way out. And if you're not a subscriber, 
make sure you hit that subscription button and then the notification bell. Choose the word all so you get all notifications for my videos. In the description, you'll see coupons for uh, different products that I use on this channel, ways to donate to sponsor for the for art supplies, uh, Amazon items, all kinds of things, ways to follow me on social media, and uh, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> Here comes the soap. Now that you've seen me create a painting with what looks like a big green penis, let's cleanse our mind with some beautiful soap. All right, so I know this soap is not Christmassy, but I have to start making soap now for like Valentine's Day, and I thought Clementine would be a perfect addition to my soap line for Valentine's Day. So let's put Chomper through and see what we have here. This smells so good. Made with citrus orange essential oil. Real dried oranges on top. We're going to go really slow. Woo, that is a chore, let me tell you. I'm out of breath. All right, let's pull a piece from the middle and see what we have here. Look at that. It smells so good. So on the top, I have some biodegradable skin safe glitter that you know, things like that, once you get the bar wet, it just washes off and disintegrates. It's not going to get all over your skin. There's a very minimal amount on there. And we have a beautiful, real dried orange wedge in there. Oh, it's so, so pretty. I love it. So this soap will be available at the end of January. And again, Starting in January, I'm going to start letting you guys know how to purchase, you know, which ones are available, all that. But look at that. Clementine. Absolutely amazing. And with these this homemade soap, your skin feels like you've gone through a like you've gone through a car wash, to be honest. It just feels so soft and protected after using it. You got none of the harsh chemicals that the you know, professional, not professional, the companies that make, you know, in the store, those brands, um, none of those harsh chemicals, just good old fashioned oils and butters and um, essential oil. Oh, love it. So again, thank you for joining me today during my breakdown. <laughs> we'll call it a breakdown and using my crazy tool that just did not look right. Anyway, I love you all. Thank you for joining me. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Happy New Year. And until the next time, my friend, happy pouring.